Hi guys, welcome back to Tara Makes It Up and my capsule makeup challenge that I'm continuing with. I can't even remember which day we're on now. I will pop it up in, obviously in the title, so you know which look it is. Tonight I am, I've just finished work, so I am about to go out for some drinks and I feel like doing something not too crazy, but I just want to feel pretty today. Um, so hair is scraped back so it's a bit gross. I have a bit of mascara left on from earlier and I've just wiped pretty much everything off. So I'm gonna do my base last. I am undecided what to do. I quite like starting these videos without planning it too much just cause I feel like sometimes I see something and it inspires me. So my temptation is to go with something earthy from my flesh palette. But then I also kind of am missing a bit of a wing. So I feel like I'm trying to think through what I wanna do. I think I'm gonna start with eye primer, which again, you guys have seen me do this so many times now, but I just love this. And every time I wear the NARS one, I'm always reminded how good it is. So well, I try not to get the eyeshadow palette all over myself, which easier said than done. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of eye primer and like I said, I've just got mascara left on because I wear waterproof mascara, so when I get home from work, it's actually quite hard to get off. So let's leave base till last. I feel like, I feel like, I'm gonna go with a fluffy brush and I am going to take this one, which is, I would describe as like sort of mushroomy color, which is kind of like my favorite color probably of like all makeup. This is the one that I go back to the most, I would say. I'm gonna start in my crease, I'm actually going to take that quite intense. I kind of feel like I want it to be a little bit dark or darker, should I say. I do love, love, love these. In fact, I'm going to go all over the lid with this. I feel like that is what my heart wants is a mushroom lid. But again, you could go darker if you had a darker skin tone. You could do the same thing, but with like a really dark uh, brown or black. I think I actually haven't let that eye primer dry enough. So it has caught a little bit there, but that's my fault because the eye primer wasn't dry. I'm gonna go to a fluffy brush and just start to buff that out. And I've gotta say, I'm kind of feeling like a big old smoky eye tonight, but something that's just like very matte. It is kind of similar to like my chocolatey look that is my kind of default go-to. But for this look as well, I like the inner corners to be really dark. So no highlights being applied there or anything of that sort. I want this just nice and dark. Then I'm gonna go back to a buffing brush again and just buff underneath. I'm gonna do concealer, etc. later, so I'm not gonna worry too much about how far down that comes. But I have to say, now I've been using this flesh palette pretty much for this whole challenge, I am so impressed by the quality of the shadows. Like they really last. They're beautiful to blend, they layer really well, you can use them as a wash, you can make them more intense, and as you'll see, there's very rarely any fall down. So next I'm gonna to do to my Barbarella Brown, my Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm gonna go inside. And I'm also gonna take that onto the inner waterline, because I do want quite a dark, smoky eye today. So it just looks nice and intense. I'm gonna take a few dots of that onto the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go back to the pencil brush I used earlier and just kind of like squidge that all in. So I just think that looks really pretty. And then I'm gonna do the same on the top lash. I'm just gonna do a couple of dots. So again, I'm not really doing a liner, just making sure it looks really nice and dark on my lash line. And then I'm gonna curl my lashes again so that the mascara I have just, my lashes just stick out a little bit more and look a bit more perfected. So I just do my trick where I tip the lash curler back slightly. Again, sorry for anyone who's squeamish and release it and then just very, very gently just pull it away. I am going to, I'm gonna use Beauty Blender again. I've been getting really back into using a Beauty Blender, guys. I am gonna do my normal um, concealer. So the one I've been using for this is my uh, Naked Skin Concealer. However, I am gonna mix in a bit of my moisturizer. Mine is just the LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream SPF 30. Um, although I don't really need SPF though now because it's later on in the day. 
but I am going to mix this into my concealer and then apply it so it's a sheerer coverage, so more like a tinted moisturiser. So just got the two on the back of my hand and I'm just going to mix them together. So I am just applying that with a beauty blender because I just want like a tinted moisturiser kind of coverage. And I find for evening, if I'm do if I for evening, sorry, I'm doing like a really full on eye. Sometimes I do quite like to have a much sheerer base. And then this is where I do think I kind of need a bit of extra concealer actually when I'm really tired is I do go in with my foundation brush and I just like to put a little bit extra under my eyes because I've been at work all day, my body is tired. It just kind of like keeps it in the same area but like keeps the opacity right directly underneath my eyes. So you'll see that just instantly brightens in a way that I think for me the Beauty Blender can't just kind of keeps the product really concentrated just in that area and if I need to I kind of wipe some off the back of my hand but this is like my go-to trick for brightening you see it just gives that nice without it being like half moons it just gives you a little bit more intensity so I'm just taking Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk and I'm going to use this to give me a bit of shape and I do love this because I feel like it is almost that kind of like tone between like the four nude blush and a bronzer on myself. And obviously you can build it, which is nice. I'm gonna take my brow brush and just give my brows a little bit of a groom. And I do kind of need to put some mascara on as well, my bottom lashes. So a little bit of brow on and a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes just to balance what I have on the top. And I think the only thing really missing is lips and I'm just going to do my lip balm because I can drink wine and not have to worry about it. So I'm using my um, Clarins, this is the instant uh, light balm. Do you know what's funny as well guys, doing this challenge, I'm actually starting to get close to the end of products. Um, which does happen for me but obviously probably more so my pro kit because those are things I go through time and time again. Whereas even my own makeup, I am guilty of just keep trying new things. And I am getting, there's no more wind up left on this, so that's exciting. <laughs> and I'm gonna put some glow on, aren't I? I just feel like I always love a dewy skin, especially if I've got a matte eye. So I'm taking my pinch of colour um, stick and we're just gonna put some glow in because I can't help myself. Sometimes you just gotta have a bit of extra glow. I think it just makes my skin look a bit more alive as well. And I think, guys, that is the finished look. That is, I can't remember which look it is, but I will pop it. It will be in the title and the description box, of course. Thank you so much for watching. Um, just to remind you guys as well, for anyone who is new to this challenge, um, it's 10 products only you choose and you commit to using and making as many wake-up looks as you can. Within those 10, I'm gonna pop mine on the screen now so you can see my 10. I committed them to you guys. And I want you to commit me your 10 as well. Let me know if you're trying this challenge. Don't forget the hashtag capsule makeup challenge. I really hope you guys are enjoying this series. I feel like it's my little contribution to getting out my comfort zone and hopefully making content that, you know, is more about sustainability and more realistic to us not keep buying more and more pieces within our makeup collection and actually using what we have. So I hope that was helpful guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. I would love it if you subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell because not all these videos are necessarily coming out on certain days or certain orders. I'm just trying to film as many as I can and when I get a day off just filming lots back to back or like tonight when I'm kind of about to go out and I've realized there's time to film. So um, hit that bell, that way you'll never miss a video and yeah, I will see you very soon with more capsule makeup looks. Thanks so much for watching guys, bye.